that is a function word used in the English language for several grammatical purposes. These include, as a complementizer subordinating conjunction. To introduce a restrictive relative clause in this role that may be analyzed either as a relative pronoun or as a conjunction as in the first case. See English relative clauses, that a relative iso instead of relative pronoun, as a demonstrative pronoun, as a demonstrative adjective, as an adverb. In the first two uses the word is usually pronounced weakly, as, whereas in the other uses it is pronounced. In the Old English language that was spelled a three-quarters at. It was also abbreviated as a letter thorn, a three-quarters, with the ascender crossed, en. In Middle English the letter ash, a, was replaced with the letter a, so that that was spelled a three-quarters at, or sometimes a three-quarters a. The ascender of the a three-quarters was reduced, which necessitated writing a small t above the letter to abbreviate the word that. In later Middle English and Early Modern English the A three quarters evolved into a Y shape, so that the word was spelled yat and the abbreviation for that was a Y with a small t above it. This abbreviation can still be seen in reprints of the 1611 edition of the King James Version of the Bible in places such as 2 Corinthians 13.7. That is often omitted when used to introduce a subordinate clause here Euro he told me that it is a good read. Could just as easily be he told me it is a good read. Historically, that usually followed a comma, he told me, that it is a good read. Middle Modern English grammarian Joseph Robertson recommended in on punctuation that a comma be used with a conjunction. However, if the subordinate, conjunctional ellipse, null complement, or syntactic pleonasm of that is punctuated with a comma, then, in the English grammar, stylistically speaking, it is a comma splice, especially in formal writing. Instead, a semicolon should be used to be grammatically correct, he told me. It is a good read. In grammar, the usage of that constitutes a that clause while its absence constitutes a bare clause. See also, that's, this, those. 